Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 16th of 2022, well, it is titled the Tarantula Zone. So what do we see here? Well, this is known as 30 Doradus, also known as the Tarantula Nebula, which is a tremendous star star forming region a thousand light years across. So if you think about that from one side to the other, it would take light a thousand years to travel. As a comparison, light tra takes eight minutes to travel between our sun and Earth and could travel the entire width of the solar system easily in less than a day. So it is a tremendous star forming region much larger than any of the other ones that we see nearby. So the Orion star forming region which we often look at would be incredibly tiny just a tiny portion of this. In fact this whole thing covers about two degrees in the sky even though it is not even within our galaxy and it was within another galaxy the satellite galaxy known as the Large Magellanic Cloud. So while the Orion region is on order of a thousand light years away, this is 180,000 light years away. So it gives us a chance to study one of these most violent star forming regions and very active one that is nearby enough for us to be able to to see and study in great detail. Certainly there may be larger ones in other areas and other distant galaxies. But among our local galaxies, this is the most uh, tremendous star forming region that we have been able to see. We see the gas and the dust scattered around here uh, from which the mater material from which stars form. And then once the stars begin to form, they illuminate that gas and dust and allow us to see it. The energy from hot stars will cause the gas to glow and in some cases will illuminate the dust as well. So as we study this star forming region trying to learn more about how the process of star formation works. And that's because we can't watch a star form because of the time scales involved. The stars are born and evolve on such a long time frame taking millions and billions of years to go through their entire lives. So we can never watch one star go through its entire formation or life but we can and watch stars at various stages. So looking at some of these star forming regions is actually very helpful in terms of learning more about the star formation process. Now when stars end their lives, especially massive stars, they blow up in a massive supernova explosion. And in fact, down towards the lower right part of this image, we can see the location of supernova 1987A, which is the only supernova to really go off nearby since the development of the telescope back in the early 1600s. So while we've seen many supernovae in other galaxies, we have yet to see one in our galaxy and in fact this one in a neighboring galaxy back in 1987 was the first one since the advent of the telescope. So that was our picture of the day for September 16th of 2022. It was titled the Tarantula Zone. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture preview to be Pathfinder to Perseverance. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow and until then have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.